Hello everyone, so it's Memorial Day and we're getting ready to set off to the Yogi Bear Delaware Beaches Camping Resort. It's about 125 miles. We're starting off with about 90% state of charge and we're gonna see if we can make it there without charging. Uh, the temperature outside is probably about 85 degrees. So I'll uh, check in with you in a little bit. We'll take a look at the rig real quick and see what we're gonna be towing. It's an ultralight, dry weight is about 4,600, but it's probably more around 5,000 pounds the way it sits right now, maybe a little bit over that. So we're in towing mode and trailer brake gain goes up to 10. So I'm gonna set it in the middle at five and we're gonna try that out. I have my regen on high, ride on stiff and stability control on. We're in standard ride height. We can switch to a low ride height, but we can only do that in park. All right, so we're just going to pull out here. And it feels pretty good. And I'm just going to adjust my mirrors here in a minute and we're going to be on the road. So we're about 76% state of charge and we're on the highway. I'm keeping it below 65. I'm hanging like right around 60 or just above it. And we've settled in at about 1.16 miles per kilowatt hour. Ambient temperature is 75 degrees. And in one mile, we do have quite a few hills. But we actually just went up to 1.17. And so far the regen, I haven't really had to use the brakes to re, well, I say that now I gotta use the brakes. But the regen has been doing all the braking up to just now, actually. So the interesting thing here, just Continue a quick check in, miles. it says that I've got 200 and miles half mile. of Take range a six B. and I've got 76% state of charge and the 15 minute average is now showing at 1.19 miles per kilowatt hour. So that would really be something if I could go 200 miles towing this 5,000 pound travel trailer. Anyhow, I'll check in with you again at 50% state of charge.
All right, so we're not quite at 50% state of charge. We're at 67, saying we have 186 miles of range, and we're averaging 1.25 miles per kilowatt hour. And we're actually riding, we've been riding into a six mile an hour headwind. So not a tailwind, but a headwind. So we're doing really good but conditions are probably ideal. The ambient temperature is 77 degrees. So I'll see you at the next check-in. Okay, everyone, so we have 47% state of charge. The last 15 minutes has actually gone down quite a bit. I was averaging 1.4 miles per kilowatt hour at one point. Now I'm back down to 1.25 but I have 47% and it says I have 152 miles of range. And when I put our destination in here, it says that we're gonna have 99 miles of range when we get there. So we're doing very well efficiency wise. The regen has been working very well. I've still only had to use the friction brakes once. And we're also in the standard ride height. We have not gone to the low ride height. When you're in towing mode in the Rivian, you have two ride height options, standard and low, and the default is standard, and that's what we're in. So I'll check back in with you probably when we get to 30%, and that might be the last check-in before we get to the campsite. Okay, everyone, so I'm checking back in with you. I've got 36% state of charge, and I'm down to 0.98 miles per kilowatt hour. The, we're driving east again, and there's a headwind now of about nine or 10 miles an hour, and that's really killing our efficiency driving into this headwind. And I can actually feel it tugging on the vehicle. But I think we're still gonna have plenty of range left. The predictor is still telling us we're going to arrive with 91 miles of range and it says we have 103 miles of range on the estimator and we have 32 miles left to go to get to our campsite. So I'll check back in with you again soon. All right well we're at 19 percent state of charge and the headwind was killing our efficiency. I was down to 0.9 at one point. Now I'm back up to 0.95. But it's saying we have 54 miles of range and we still have 12 miles to go to get to the campsite. So I think we're still gonna be okay, but we're not gonna have as much of a pad as we thought we were gonna have. So things can change dramatically when you're towing just by the headwind doubling. So when we started, the headwind was about five miles an hour and we were right around 1.25 miles per kilowatt hour. And when it picked up to 10, which basically doubled, we dropped all the way down to 0.9. So if you're in a real strong headwind, you could see much lower than that. So, of course we have a travel trailer, which is not aerodynamically efficient. And the aerodynamics are gonna make a bigger difference when you're towing with the Rivian than the actual weight of the trailer is gonna make. 
so the wind is is huge if there's a headwind it's going to dramatically affect your range and if there's a tailwind it's going to dramatically affect it as well but it's it's actually going to help you a lot versus hurting you unfortunately we've got the headwind which is hurting us but the next check-in will be when we get to the campsite and we'll see how we did Okay everyone, so we made it with about 8% state of charge to the campsite. It was kind of close towards the end there, the efficiency got really bad. But, um, so that's pretty much it. And uh, we'll see you on the return trip and then we'll take a look at how we did. Okay, everyone, so the GoPro died. I'm getting ready to take off. We're leaving the campground to head back, and coincidentally, we have a 10 mile an hour headwind again that we're gonna be fighting against, and our elevation is gonna increase by about 600 feet, which I don't think is gonna make much of a difference. But we are starting out at a 99% state of charge. So I'll check in with you guys and let you know how we're doing a little further into the trip. Okay, everyone, so quick update. It's starting to rain a little bit, but we're averaging 1.32 miles per kilowatt hour. We have about 93% left, and we've got 109 miles to go. And uh, I am in the low ride height this time. Coming down, I was in the standard ride height in tow mode. This time I'm in the low ride height, so we'll see if that makes any difference. So I'll check in with you again in a little bit, and we'll see where we are. Okay, everyone, so I was actually mistaken before. We actually have a 10 mile an hour tailwind. However, the rain's been picking up a little bit. Now we're going into an area that's dry, but we just went through quite a bit of rain, but I'm averaging 1.28 miles per kilowatt hour. And the GPS is telling me that when we arrive at our destination, which is 95 miles away, we're gonna have 179 miles of range. And we're currently at 84% state of charge. So we're doing really well. Again, we're going back into an area here where it's very wet. So we may be hitting some rain. But efficiency seems to be holding steady at between 1.25 and 1.3 miles per kilowatt hour, which is pretty good. So I'll check in with you again shortly. Okay everyone, another update. We're at 75% state of charge, averaging 1.27 miles per kilowatt hour. We've driven through some rain. Uh, we still have the tailwind, but 
we've also hit some heavy traffic. There was an accident and some heavy traffic we're just getting out of now. But we're at 75% state of charge. We have 77 miles to go. And our estimated range when we reach our destination is gonna be 153 miles according to the navigation. So efficiency is pretty good. I, I'm really happy with uh, 1.26 now miles per kilowatt hour. So I'll check in with you again when we get closer to our destination. All right, everyone, so we have 58% state of charge. We've hit a lot of Memorial Day traffic heading towards the Bay Bridge. And um, surprisingly, the efficiency has gone way up, 1.65 miles per kilowatt hour. But we're doing very well and I'll check back in with you shortly. Okay, everyone, we're at 31% state of charge. The tailwind has changed to a headwind of eight miles an hour, and the efficiency is down to 1.05 miles per kilowatt hour. And we just dropped a 30% state of charge. We have 13 miles left, and it's saying we'll have 88 miles of range left when we arrive. So we're doing fairly well. We did go through some heavy rain, some heavy traffic. So quite a bit different than the drive down. But next check-in will be when we arrive back at the campground. Okay, everyone, so we made it back with 21% state of charge, and the ending efficiency is 1.16 miles per kilowatt hour. Almost exactly the same as what we did on the way down. So I'm convinced that we're not gonna see a whole lot of variation with this particular trailer, but we'll have to see on future trips. Hope you found this trip exciting. If you did like, Subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified anytime we add new content and we'll see you around.